Okay, sorry about that. Uh, Sylveon, with her goddamn phone, also had to uh, disconnect from Skype. Oh, my God. oh bullshit. <laughs> Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Apparently, I met a guy named Sir William Smith, and what faggot face left me a present. Okay, so here is where I never played, but I already played it, so I know the puzzles and shit in this room. But down the elevator, I haven't done anything. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. DM straight. Hey, yeah, Daniel, let's go past the room. Fifth of July. 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor of the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Crucigen which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. It was all your fault, man. Mine. No, um, not yours, uh, ooh, hey, two tinder boxes. Okay, um... I don't think that's right, but we'll see.
1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests and other What the hell is that? My dog barking, my dad scared my mom. I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound caused to me. A sound of defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, and hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. So rude. Well, I'll edit that out. <laughs> oh, that's not cool. I hear voices. It's me. She's speaking loud. Nah, not really. At least mm. not in my opinion. Mm, I'm kind of like tired-ish. Hands this escaped me. They're all dead. Limbs scattered. Heads split down the middle. Their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is he following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I bought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust him. Oh! That's poopy. I didn't mean to do that. Okay.
Daniel is not very strong. Also. Well, because my trackpad's gay, I gotta throw these uh, cog wheels. And he's not throwing them very far at all. Okay, I'm done. I am done. I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go down the elevator shaft. Okay, let's go. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. Uh oh. Ew. That's gross. Well, down we go. The morning sun flickered between the pine trees as the carriage approached the castle. A faint memory of reflections in the window pane repeated itself over and over. Cool beans. Okay, well, uh, thank you for joining in with me and Sylveon playing Amnesia The Dark Descent. Uh, please, if you like the video, give a like, thumbs up, favorite it, share it, do what you will. Remember to subscribe if you want to come back for more, and, uh, have it just come directly to your channel. Otherwise, I love all your fucking faces, they're all beautiful to me, guys. No matter if you're a lover or a hater, I love you all. So, just uh, stay chill and be peaceful, guys. Peace out.